Lake Tahoe is terminal. That's a technical way to explain water is not flowing out of the lake. Now it won't always be like this, but the consequences of an extended drought go beyond the water line. And CBS 13's Madison Keevy is in the Tahoe Basin getting answers on how to reverse this diagnosis. Lake Tahoe is changing hour by hour every day. A researcher at UC Davis tells me it this conversation doesn't actually start in the water. It starts on shore by what you wouldn't have seen years ago. So you're going to have a set of algal blooms on, on the beaches. Algae, stringy seaweed, and sand where there should be water. All signs that the water in Lake Tahoe is below the natural rim. With a dry winter this year, we could be three feet below our current level this time next year. Researchers at UC Davis's Tahoe Environmental Research Center study the science that informs conservation. Water isn't flowing out of Lake Tahoe and into the Truckee River right now. One storm doesn't compensate for a drought and the hundreds of thousands of gallons of water that are lost through evaporation. We've always had these periods when the lake has gone below the natural rim. What's starting to become different is that they're occurring more frequently. Take Emerald Bay. If levels continue to drop like they are now, boats won't be able to get through. These now connected bodies of water would be on their own. The signs of lower water levels aren't lost on the people at the water, here to take it in. Taking my friend out here and showing him What's going on at the lake right now is pretty important because it is part of our life. Even on first trips to the lake. Just, it's just beautiful, beautiful. The changes are subtle, but there. Water just levels down. A lot down. of things, water levels down, dried up, uh, small little river beds that normally, you know, would be quite flowing. Can the effects of a terminal lake be reversed? Well, I don't think it's something we can fix. I mean, it's something we have to live with. The same drought concerns and calls to conserve water apply to every lake and reservoir in the West area.